In this video, we are making ChatGPT go against Gemini in making the best Pellworld clone from scratch. There won't be any external idea given, no instructions and no detailed prompt. All we are gonna do today is ask for a game and we will see how the AIs will come up with the stuff of their own. So watch this video till the end. So first goes ChatGPT, this AI should win because of you know what reason. This AI is single handedly responsible for the RAM shortage. So here goes thinking mode enabled, extended thinking mode enabled, now let's type our prompt. Make a pal world web best clone, that should have all the features from the base game and it should use HTML, CSS, JavaScript and 3.js. Also the code should be in a single executable file. This should do it, now let's run the prompt and see what we're gonna get. Ok so the coding is done, it didn't really take that long. But look at the amount of code we got, it's really mesmerizing. And here are the features we apparently have in this game, not gonna lie these sound cool. Let's put this code inside VS code and then we will see what it does. The code is actually pretty long, nearly 1900 lines. Let's run the game and see what we are getting. Ok so the game is actually not running, we are getting a dark world. But we have our user interface, it's like we are in the shadow realm. Let's check the console to see what our error is. Ok so this is the error failed to resolve module specifier 3. I have zero idea what that means. I am by no means a javascript expert so I am gonna give a screenshot of this to chatgpt to have a look at it. We got this error and there is image attached as well. chatgpt should now be able to fix the error for us in a couple minutes. ChatGPT is giving me instructions on how to fix the code, but I actually wanted to redo the whole code. So redo the entire code and give me full code in a single response so I could replace it. Ok so now we are getting the full code. So ChatGPT took like 10 minutes to write this code and it has already taken more than 20 minutes in total. So this code better be a good game. Ok so the game is actually running. And right off the bat we don't have a 3D model. But that's fine as long as other stuff keeps working. The world actually looks pretty decent for 1600 lines of code. We have trees and rocks and the number of pelts are quite a lot as well. Can I hit them? Yeah I can. And now it's chasing me. Oh it's getting dark. So the day night cycle is actually working. So let's actually catch a pal because that's the main mechanic of the game. Should I wait for it to become day because it's really dark? What are the red dots on the minimap? Ok so the red ones are probably alpha pals like the noodle in the pal world. Let's weaken this one. Wait did I just kill it? Catching a pal is gonna be a very long day in this game. Did you know that we can actually build in this game? Like this, it's pretty cool. I just found out about it. Wait, what's this shadow? It's definitely not a giant PP, isn't it? So that's pretty much the ChatGPT Pal World game. The game is actually pretty functional and we can actually catch Pal. Let's catch one right now. There is one. Let's weaken it first. Now the orbs. It is breaking free again and again. Let's weaken it again. We need more orbs. Let's equip it and finally we have captured it. And here it is, we can actually spawn it. So the game is pretty cool, a lot of people might say it's not impressive at all, but just think about it, this is an AI that makes the whole game from scratch within like 30 minutes and without any assets. A single person is gonna take like 2 days to make the same thing and it's really impressive. Also we're not gonna ask ChatGPT to add more features to this, because it will actually decrease the number of features instead of increasing. We already lost like 200 lines of code in our second attempt and I think this is pretty good on its own. Next we have Gemini which is actually pretty good at coding web best games. So I'm gonna activate the pro mode and then choose the canvas tool from the tools. Also I gave the exact same prompt from ChatGPT so the competition is actually fair and square. So let's send the prompt and see what we are gonna get. While we are waiting for the code to generate you can consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video. Your support can help my channel grow. So Gemini is done with coding and we can actually play the game here. 
wait, why do I have schizophrenia? Am I drunk? The look around is not working properly. Right click to throw spheres. Oh, so we can literally one shot catch any pals in this game. I have already caught like 10 pals. The game is very simple, only the main mechanic is working and there is literally nothing else in the game at the moment. And the code is like only 700 lines as opposed to ChatGPT's 1600 lines of code. So let's talk to Gemini about it. The look around is not working properly. Also add more features in the game like proper inventory system, axe, pickaxe and farming system and also building system. That's peak prompting for you. So now let's see what Gemini is gonna come up with. Wait, this is actually looking good. We have icons. Although they are just emoji but still that's cool. Also we can still one ball catch any pal which is I don't know what to say about it. And we can farm. The great food crisis is back. And the seeds are actually growing, like what the hell? What are these pink stuff, can we harvest it? Yeah we can harvest it and there is a glitch that we can harvest it in finite amount of times. I guess the great food crisis is fixed in this game. We can also build in this game but we need wood for that. So it's time for grinding wood. Ok so apparently we are building stuff but I have no idea what we are building. It's literally under the grass and we can't do anything about it. This is pretty much it. Well, the code is about 800 lines and I want it to match ChatGPT's 1600 lines of code. So I'm gonna ask Gemini one final time to match that number of lines by adding whatever it wants to add to the game and we will see what it does. Ok so Gemini is done coding now and it's almost 1500 lines of code. Which I'm gonna take it. And the game is not working. There is a lot of errors. Let's click on the fix error button and the game will be hopefully fixed. And Gemini cannot fix its errors. I guess the previous submission is the final submission by Gemini which is also pretty good and pretty complete. Honestly it's very surprising how bad these AIs are at coding and doing stuff a little bit complicated. And people are worried because AI will take their jobs. I honestly think using AIs to do very small and delicate work is good but large scale they will be really hopeless. You should comment down below who do you think was the better coder and how good do you think they were compared to your expectations. And also subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. And I will see you guys in the next video.